Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 31 October. The day after FOMC, unanimously dovish set of central bank meetings. BOJ was nothing. BOC was dovish. I would say FOMC was neutral, but it has been interpreted as dovish. Plus, there are other flows helping to weaken the dollar, um, namely month-end flows. So here we are. Uh, let's check a look at this euro. We traded up to 70. The interesting highs are 80. We should see those today, uh, especially should, since we should have some month-end dollar selling to deal with. Uh, this looks like a buy on dip. Traded down to 81 immediately after the FOMC uh, press conference or during the FOMC press conference and then sh shot right back up to 50 and then today we haven't really been below there Feel 48 the low 70 the high we like euro higher core long has been the way it's been good to us no reason to change this outlook today in the little short-term book you want to just buy low ones um, and look for a break of 111.80 we do have uh, GDP coming out of Europe. We've got some inflation data coming out of Europe. You have German retail sales. So there are some numbers out of Europe to watch. Cable following Euro. You know, Brexit party is kind of abstaining. So this was good for Boris. Don't really understand the whole Brexit bit. But just the weakening dollar has dragged the cable up. There are like two and a half yards of 129s rolling off on Friday, so be careful. This should stay within a range now of say 129, uh, 130.40 and 129.60. Tons and tons and tons of gamma. It's a huge expiry in the sterling world. So look for range trading uh, up until FOMC tomorrow. Dollar yen was a head fake. We got long through 05. It was looking pretty good at 29. Uh, we cut it back down through 05. Now we're just watching. Surprisingly, 58 the low. That looks like a turn bar to me. What I do know um, also is that 109.30 is a massively important technical point. It will be the point where. Anyone who went short today or yesterday will stop out about 109.30 and anyone who's neutral and wants to get long at the right time will get long through this. So this is a key point, 109.30. Euro yen, uh, interesting, interesting chart, 121.50, very, very important now. That looks like a break trade. Dollars are, we talked about the budget yesterday, banged up through, it was trading at 60, uh, through 66, and then never turned, never looked back. We paused up at 1506, uh, traded up to 1512 at FOMC. This is going to go to 1550 and higher. Moody's is likely to downgrade uh, South Africa on Friday if they do. Uh, run for cover close all the windows and shutters South Africa as it's prone to do is fucked this up um, I don't know bad management what can you say and it's gonna get punished uh, by the market this week we're all waiting on Moody's it'll be late on Friday before they uh, decide but it's notoriously leaky uh, what Moody's is doing, so you'll see you'll see the price sort of indicate what's going to happen before it happens. Let's look at Aussie through 69. The figure is broken in the overnight session. We did not participate, uh, but this is important. A daily close above 69, and this has lots of fresh air. A little bit extended now. I have to see how the day goes. There should be dollar selling. So picking up some 
some Aussie between 10 and the figure. Looks like a smart deal uh, from where we sit. Dollar Cad, on the other hand, surprisingly dovish BOC. This actually looks like a buy on dip now. Um, if you're short, try and snap them up between 60 and 30. If you're neutral, try and get long between 60 and 30. And if you're bullish, you're already long. You probably paid figures yesterday uh, and just sit tight. What else? Stocks. Uh, Apple beat last night. So we kind of bullish engulfed at the highs. This is. This is a bullish candle. Um, we are still going to be looking on the short side. We had 59s in. We canceled them. Now today we have 60. Uh, I'm sorry. We had 49s in last night. We canceled them. Today we have 59s in. We talked about at the beginning of the week. We're looking for a 1% move above the all-time highs, which is 30.60. Uh, we will try some tepid shorts on the fade. But now our first point to really get stuck in is down below 3024 and more importantly below 3000. It's like 3000 leagues under the sea or Sparta 3000. I think there are only 300 of those guys though, but anyway, 3000. Let's take a look at that when we see it. News is universally good. Uh, the market interpretation is universally dovish. Didn't really make a ton of sense to us, but we're not gonna we're not gonna fade the flock on this. Um, so it's a it's a really light light short on the fade, and it's a heavy plunge uh, once price confirms our view. Bulls are squeezing higher today. I have no idea why. We're core short. You know, we're just core short kind of forever now. Um, you can resell this up at 132 on the day today. Uh, Boons, we think, are going to head, you know, down to 164. So we still got another 700 points here in Boons. Uh, patiently short is the way we go. We have inflation data, PCE, uh, employment cost index out of the U.S. We also have inflation data out of Canada. Keep in mind for those of you who are long dollars are uh, we have trade data out of out of that country uh, midday today uh, and it is month end we are expecting dollar selling today at the fix and uh, the build up in the afternoon uh, will likely be dollar selling good luck out there people make some dough you deserve it I will uh, Talk to you tomorrow, FNFP. Oh, yeah. Also, the guy who runs this thing in Ireland is hassling me. We need more subscribers. So please subscribe. Hit the like button. Whatever you're supposed to do on YouTube. Um, we need a thousand subscribers, he told me. Or else this channel, is, there's no point in making it public. So we have like 300 something. Um... So call your ex-girlfriend and tell your dog and all of your children to subscribe. It's much appreciated. Ciao.